When Zumtabel invited us to do a project for the annual report, I thought a lot about the distinction between light and lighting. That is the difference between natural light and man-made light. The quality and the atmosphere are just different. Despite the highly developed technologies that try to simulate the natural with the man-made, it's just different. As urban dwellers, our lives are not controlled by natural light the way agrarian cultures are. So when the sun goes down, it's not the end of the day. It's just time for a break in the 24 seven global work cycle. However, there's a major change that takes place when the sun goes down in the city, when a particular social contract kicks in. When the sun goes down, the city lights go on. We don't have to think about it, it just happens. Like turning on the tap, you expect clean water to come out. Water and light are part of the social contract in civil society. And sunset is my favorite time of the day, but not because it's a romantic moment of reflection about the curvature of the earth or the sublimity and speed of the earth's rotation, but because of a cultural sublimity and the beauty of the social contract when the handoff is made from the natural to the artificial. It's a time when it's both day and night, an uncanny moment that Magritte caught in his painting, The Empire of Light. This is called the blue hour. At twilight when the sun is below the horizon and indirect sunlight takes on a deep intense blue shade, very different from the blue of the sky in the daytime. This is the time of day we like to take photographs of our buildings when they look most sexy. It's also called the magic hour. Our project for Zoom to Bell is called The Blue Hour, and it brings together a lifelong interest in filmmaking with an experiment in light as the narrative structure and the storyteller. The project was conceived as a short film to be seen in print. It comprises 60 time-lapse still photos taken one minute apart across that hour. The photos are taken from a single static vantage point looking at a domestic scene. The main character is never in the frame, but only seen in reflections and shadows. And as the hour progresses and the story unfolds, the light or absence of it reveals and conceals information. Its source being daylight or the dim presence of streetlight or various interior light fixtures and an iPhone. Light is not only the structure of the story, it's the real protagonist and the story's subtext. <laughs> 